situation. You're out with your family and one of them becomes a skinwalker. You draw your concealed carry handgun, but you're very sweaty. It's a genetic problem. You drop your weapon in the mud, you draw it out, you go to fire, does it work? Today on Grand Thumb, we find out the truth. Before we get into that, we of course have to thank the biggest sponsor of our channel, who is? Desert Snoring. Desert Snoring Institute. This is so terrifying. The Snoring Desert Institute. If you're looking to get your start in gunsmithing, uh, to be able to have the competence to be able to repair these guns we're about to break, then you need to go to them. They're awesome. We can't thank them enough. A big thank you to the Sonoran Desert Institute. And who else can we not forget? Micah. We can't forget Primary Arms because they sell optics and if you open the optics, you'll usually find Skittles. <laughs> Skittles, uh, second week of January. Yeah, it's a it's a thing, right? Yeah, no, it is. Message them if you don't get it. And of course, all the ammunition is provided for by AAC, uh, which is made in America, unlike the phone that you're watching this video on. So uh, it is definitely high powered. It's enough to run all these guns extremely well, including the comp weapons. Uh, we've been having really good luck with AAC ammo. I am satisfied with my AAC product. We're gonna be explaining how this video is gonna go. So we have a whole variety of different weapons here and we're gonna be testing all of them in this uh, mud puddle right here. So the general testing procedure is every weapon, if it can hold 10 rounds, is holding 10 rounds. It's going to be five rounds uh, without mud to prove that it works. And then we're going to drop it ejection port side down into this mud puddle. Prior to each test, we'll be agitating the mud puddle to ensure that it's nice and uh, muddy. Good old Washington uh, meth infused mud right here. pretty deep. So we're gonna fire five rounds without mud. Uh, after that, if there is a safety, if there is a decocker, we will safety and or decocker or both. We'll drop it into the mud. We'll then draw it out, safety off, or you know whatever safety devices they have, we'll fire another five rounds. If it is able to make it through those five rounds, it will go into the winner's pile. If not, it will go into the loser's pile. And uh, if it's in the loser's pile, yeah, then make memes about it. Once we've gone through all the weapons, any weapon that has gone to the winner's pile, we will then do an extreme mud test where we will place it into the mud, we will stamp it down on both sides, and then we will see if it runs another five rounds, and we'll probably have a mud winner. Who do you think the mud winner is gonna be, Charles? Uh, I'm hoping, I'm hoping the PDP. You guys are obsessed I, with the Walther I PDP. Why are you so obsessed with it? I'm so, so confident I'm putting my personal PDP on the line here. I think they look like a high point. They do not. What? Look at the yeah, optic. look at the grip. Look at the optic. <laughs> I do if any gun's going to work, it's probably going to be the Glock 17, is my guess, is probably going to do the best. So if I'm being like real talk, I do think the PDP specifically, Okay. because I do think they are overgassed from the factory. They are snappy guns. No, it can't be overgassed, it's going to be oversprung. Oversprung, there you go. Or undersprung maybe, I don't know. Uh, Charles, is that your vote? as? for the Walther PDP as well? Yeah, my vote is for the PDP. Why? Well, I just don't want to talk shit to Mike, honestly. That's all I'm going Well, to this is what Grand Thumb has come to. I will say, for the boomers out there, we do have a very nice 1911 from Nighthawk. And then, of course, we have every very nice $4,000 2011, uh, so people can cry when they probably, I'm guessing they're gonna fail. Sandhawk, Staccato XC, they're gonna fail, 100%. Of everything we're doing in the test, the thing that's making me the most sad is gonna be the optics like getting those dirty because trying to get the dirt out of the emitter and shit. I'm not uh, looking forward to yeah, that at I all. I didn't think about that. It's going to suck. That's your carry gun, isn't it? Yeah, I hope nothing happens on the way home. It's Tacoma, anything could happen. Yeah, that's facts. First up, we have the Glock 17. Okay, you shot six. Oh. oh. That was worse than I thought it would be. Okay. Got it all over my camera. Super easy. All right, Glock 17 is gonna go into the winner's pile. That actually, that first test actually might be too easy. You look so cute. All right, we have a Glock stuff. 19 rolling special. Oh, thank you. Yeah. What is... Yeah. 
you know what? It's, I feel like the test is actually too easy right now, but we might be proven wrong at some point. We have a Langdon uh, Beretta M9. Uh, these are awesome. The dagger from Palmetto, which is basically a Glock clone. I'm uh, really interested. Why are you smiling? I don't know, that one does look stupid. This looks stupid? That looks worse than a PDP for sure. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, fair enough. Oh, we're gonna need some more water. All right, we have a M&P 2.0 right here. Uh, this did win the ice test, do you remember that? Yeah, it's like the only one. Uh, we have the CC75B right here. CC75B. Safety on. God. Oh, it's in my eye. Did you get it in your eye? Yeah. Oh, that's herpes right there, dude. All right, next up we have the Mark III Browning High Power right here. Safety on. Oh, that one hurt. I love this gun. Oh! Oh, <laughs> oh she's down. Ripping pieces. Oh, on the last round, too, I think. Yeah. All right. Sorry, Brennan High Power. You are out. People are going to be pissed about that one. But, like, it was just about there. Next up, we have the Nighthawk Custom, 45 ACP. It's getting spicy now. I should have fired four because it's an eight round mag, but. Oof. Oh, dude. Oh, that was gross. Yeah, yeah, good. The legendary uh, HK Mark 23. It should, it should just work, right? Oh, before you drop it, let me, let me scoop a little. Oh, yeah, 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 go ahead. Cause that's a big gun, it needs a lot of room to breathe. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, dude. Oh. Oh, yeah. I feel like this is getting worse. All right. Here we go, Gross. Mark 23. Okay. Cock. There wasn't a lot of splash from that one. I thought it'd be, Yeah. you know, just bigger, but. Heard that. What do you think? It fired when you need rounds to go, you know? It didn't lock back. We'll, we'll let it continue. Yeah, I'm interested. Slide, yeah, I think so. Okay, we have the Staccato P. I don't think we should have any problems with this guy. Shit, I can't even see the optic. Optic's gone. Hey. Yeah, she's fine. Okay, we have the Cicado XC, which is the comp version. I think it'll make it. This isn't too rough. Okay. So smooth. Yeah. No recoil on this, which is why I'm worried about it. Hold it, dude. Yeah. Yo. Nope, she's out. All right, fail. Sandhawk. This is sad. How much does this thing cost? Like six thousand dollars. Cool. That is really smooth. Oh man. Oh. Oh, oh dude. Got on my lip. Hey! You know what? She shot when you needed her to. 
She didn't lock back, but we gave it a pass on the, on the HK Mark 23. Therefore, she continues. I thought this would fail. Yo, Cicado people on life support? <laughs> where's your dot? What do you mean, where's my dot? You, there's no dot. <laughs> it's snappy. It yeah, is it snappy. is a snappy gun. Gross. Yeah, it should be fine. Oh, easy. Yeah. Easy, easy money. One. Desert Eagle. Why? Here we go. So see if this thing even runs on a ton. There's only seven rounds, so we'll do three. It's so loud. So loud. Jesus. See. Man, these bigger guns are just letting down on the splash. This should be fine. She's fine. Yeah. I wasn't sure, to be honest. So we actually have quite a few guns that have made it through the first test. I think the, uh, the uh, thing we have to do at this point is load another five rounds into each and then do the mash test. All right, we now have the next level of difficulty. We have the mud right here, which is just disgusting. And uh, how we're gonna run the test for this one is we're going to, from shoulder height, drop it on one side, step on it, pick it up, drop it on the other side, step on it, pick it up, and uh, see if it fires. And I guess the general idea is that we're gonna base what wins off of how many, uh, <laughs> how many malfunctions uh, we see on these weapons. I, that feels fair, right? So in no particular order, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start with the, oh boy, the uh, Mark 23 right here. Actually, I'm trying to decock that. I can't even decock it, I think it's jammed with mud. So, HK boys on uh, Suicide Watch or whatever. Oh! oh dude. Okay. I mean, should we just smear mud over it too? I, yeah, I got this. Okay. Here. <laughs> we let Charlie just throw a little bit of... some Charlie mud, and then we'll be done. Yep, okay. Charlie mud Do I give it a shake? Different. No, yeah, no shake. shake, it, shake yeah. it. Definitely shake it. I mean, if it's a combat test, you probably just pick it up. Yeah, holy shit. Nope. One step closer to the PDP King. Oh, shit. Come on. Yeah. Fail. Fail. Yeah. Fail. <sighs> PDP. Getting close. Next up, we have the Staccato uh, P right here, which uh, has passed a lot of tests. So we'll uh, we'll see how it goes. That's disgusting. Okay, two scoops. <laughs> There's no way. I think every every handgun's gonna fail. Nope. That's for sure failing. Jesus. I can't even see. Oh, so close. Oh. Can't. Well, it got through the rest of the rounds. It just couldn't chamber. It couldn't yeah. get forward. Out she goes. That's sad. It's too bad. <laughs> One okay, more. next up we have the Walther PDP because uh, oh, why not? I thought we were gonna save that to the end. <laughs> nope, it's going right now, baby. Uh, let's see, yeah, jerk him side down. Okay. Whoa, that was that an was extra an hard <laughs> stop. Come on. All right, two scoops of Charlie mud. <laughs> uh, it's ridiculous. Oh. Get, a, get, a, get a scoop on there, it's ridiculous. All right. It's actually getting hard to scoop because it's so muddy. You're not even getting it on the gun. Yeah, I did. Look. Dude, people are gonna replay this in slow motion. And, and they're gonna just, be like, wow. Like, wow, Mike's Charlie. Mike's a real hard okay, Oh, okay. Mud. Yeah, that. Well, now it's almost unfair. Yeah. That is actually unfair. 
Oh, oh shit, yeah. you, you see that? Yeah. It's fucking weird, dude. So it's like... It got two rounds. Yeah, it did. It, it wasn't did, bad. It did pretty good. So it's like the... Uh, as the, the, the striker was engaging on the slide, it was like Ooh, pulling it with the, with the mud. Oh, so it yeah. is the winner. Right now. Oh, oh. dude. Look at those baby taps he gave. No, nah, this thing ain't gonna work. You don't think so? No, dude. It's got tiger stripe on it, though. Okay. There we go. <sighs> Safety off. No way. It's gonna power through. <laughs> Fucking hell. It's like, the problem with the mud is, like, you press into it and you just don't know when it's gonna go off. Hell. Oh my gosh, really? The Desert Eagle of all things? Alright, so in the <laughs> fail. Okay. Okay, next up. Baby. Oh. To be clear, it's called the What Hawk? The sand hawk, not the mud hawk. Uh, it's in the she's right done, place, dude. dude. There's just no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the mag just came out. Oh, no way. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right. That sounded weird. Oh. No, it didn't eject. Yeah, so it was just having hella problems just getting into the chamber. We just got the actions just done, so dude. There's so much in there. Okay, next up we have the uh, CC75B. And, uh, you know, one of the most popular handguns in the world, FYI. Ah, uh, so I see what's happening. So the uh, magazine release is getting depressed. Did you know that the CC-75 is one of the most popular handguns? You know what? I have faith. I have faith. Yeah, it's not working. You don't think so? Nope. Why not? <laughs> Fuck. Called it. <sighs> oh shit. There we go. She's should be fine. Yeah, triggers. Trigger, triggers is dead. No, smack it. Smack it on the table. Let's see, hold on here. There we go. There we go. Oh, oh. yeah, she's. She's not going to battery. She's in. <sighs> Fucking hell. Dude, I can't explain how terrifying that is. Just yeah. like pulling a trigger and just feeling nothing until it just goes off. Yeah, it's pretty sketchy. It's not, <laughs> not as sketchy as the freeze test, but. We know who it's gonna win. The Glock. It's gonna win. This has been my carry piece for like forever. Micah, how long have, been, have I been like carrying this gun for? So at least oh two. fuck! You what? At least two. Fair. At least two years. You've known me for longer. 
Like three, three right? Years. Yeah, three, years. three, three. That's sketch. Oh, there's a rock right there. Holy shit. About as well as the PDP. Yeah, PDP did a little bit better. I feel like they did about the same. I don't think so. PDP got two back to back. That, yeah. Did it? Yeah. All right, well, PDP wins. All right, Sigma 18. Safety's on, so it shouldn't go off. But the most surprising thing is that you should just carry a Desert Eagle. That's facts. facts. Or a Draco. Gross. Wow. Well, looks like the US military picked well. Yeah. Because that did pretty good. Yeah, really did, good. I think I'm sad to say, but I think it's in the lead. Well, uh, no, Desert Eagle still won, because Desert Eagle just went. You're right. Facts. I forgot. All right, next up we have the are uh, Pullman. Are you saying the U.S. military should have picked the Desert Eagle? Well, yeah. Do they make it at 9 mil? Didn't you carry Desert Eagle when you were a Navy SEAL? Uh, I did, but that was for certain mission sets in country. <laughs> mud, mud it. I want to let you everybody know, besides the mud test, it's terrifying to know. What the fuck was that? Well, uh, it's not my fault. You, you built a range around a, a grassy field. <sighs> Can't work under these conditions. Oh, shit. Good? No, it's not close. Oh. And now we're seeing why Glock got rid of their Gen 3 patent. Yeah, it can't quite, it's not able to close. Probably some mud. Have you tried? <laughs> really? You think it was the mud that did it? <laughs> dude. Hold on, let me, let me see that. Let's see. Oh, you weren't fair with it, dude. Yeah. Try and hold it like a Fody. I mean, that was the last round. Okay. What? No. I demand not a recount. Okay. It's <laughs> not okay at all. Sig and Desert Eagle at the front. Just, yeah. yeah. And Walter. It's like, that's like as upsetting to me as uh, when the Helion won. Yeah. It's just like, it's not a good feeling, you know? Yeah. Good thing we didn't put the Prodigy in here. <laughs> they, they did not send one. I should just buy one though. No. <laughs> it's a good gun. Yeah, it's a really, it's a really good gun. Uh, I feel like that's gonna work. You feel like it's gonna work? Yeah, just looking at it. Yeah. Oh, mag came out. Oh, is that really fair then? If that mag was seated. Ice, Ice King? And the mud mag King. I kinda, I kinda wanna throw another five in, do it again. Oh my God. Well, I don't know. That's yeah, it. do it. Cause that just works so well. Dude. How does the m &P do it? Maybe it's me, maybe it's Maybelline. Maybe it's Maybelline. Is that a new Maybelline mask you're wearing? Yeah. <laughs> the mud mask? You should see the other mask we put on them. That's crazy. So you want me to, to load it and do it, it again? It obviously is the best so far, but might as well give it another shot. It, okay. Oh, dude, that, what? We're gonna get it a whole other set of mud? Yeah. What? Yeah. Why? Just because. I just want to see. It did it so well. It did so good. I just want to see. We're really putting it to the test. Yeah. And this time I'm gonna put. Like. <sighs> Come on. Hey, Charlie's just being unfair. Yeah, this isn't fair. <clears throat> now imagine if it still ran. How? Well, no way. 
Okay, mag came loose. Oh my gosh. Come on, little baby. Well, she finally died. That's after far more torture than the other ones. Incredible, dude. Yeah. Actually, pretty incredible. Do you think it'd probably perform in hot weather as well? Two world wars. Micah, two world wars. Soon to be three. I don't know what that means, but. Yeah, that was pretty dark, too. <laughs> I mean, I could kind of expect that. You know there's some there's some Japanese dude in hentai heaven that's just looking down and be like, yeah, I got killed with the 1911. That was dropped in mud. Hentai <laughs> heaven. This is the most surprising test ever. I can't believe it. Okay, we have the, uh, the Roland Special. I can't believe the, the, I mean, it's a nice 1911, but I can't believe it ran. Honestly, same. Two world wars, dude. A2. Hey, didn't give up, didn't care at all, dude. <sighs> I can still see the optic. <laughs> we have a. Uh, there's one of the, yep. Yep. Just didn't eject, I think. Okay. It wasn't bad. Ter not terrible. I mean, I'd be panicking if there was a skinwalker coming towards me doing that, you know? You really? So? Look how open it is. Well, yeah. Let's see. This is the last one, actually. Mag came out. Pop that back in. Charles, dude, I am not looking forward to cleaning these. I feel I was pretty. I was. I felt pretty good about that one. <laughs> Ugh, gross. Oh, dude. Here we go. All the marbles. Okay. Oh, shit. Come on. It's flying through those rounds, though. Yeah, it, it, it's not able to close. I would suppose that there's probably debris in the mechanism that got into the top there, because it's, well, right then it got closed, but yeah, that gunked up pretty hard. What do you think if we wipe some mud off? Yeah. Oh, she's gonna be good now. Well, so that, uh, our yeah, let's take a look. So we have I think looking back through. Wait a minute. What? Where's the PDP? The PDP is not a winner. What? The. That is unofficial. It can it sit did do good. in the middle. It was in the lead for a little while. It was never in okay, the lead I'll for take a little while. You know, everyone has talked about for so long, like the Glock being like the end all be all. Like, yeah, you can put it in mud, you can put it in snow, and it just is going to run. But. In our tests, I found that the actual one is the m &P, which is like a big Glock competitor for forever, and everyone always talks shit on it, but like, yeah, it's crushing. Those are actually pretty nice shooters, too. I think out of all these winners right here um, on the table, I don't know, I think I'm most, I'm most fond of this one, I think. Um, but I like this one as well. But at the end of the day, PDP-1, we can be, okay, 
But honestly, what, which one surprised you the most, Micah? Actually, the MMP, man. Oh, really? God. Well, I mean, the MMP surprised us in the ice test. The MMP surprised us in the mud test. And then the next closest was the Desert Eagle. I well, I mean, the Desert Eagle is such no, a. That's what surprised me. It's such a meme. Yeah. It's a meme gun, you know. It's like, you're like, oh yeah, I'm gonna carry Desert Eagle. You're like, okay, buddy. Like, good luck. But uh, I mean, sure, shit, it did pretty good. Yeah, I feel like that one was bound to do. I mean, just look at the pressure coming it. back. Yeah, really. Yeah, just crushing true. those tiny rocks. The 1911, though, I thought was gonna fail immediately, because like, you know, there's so many advancements have been made in like, spring and pistol technology. I mean, it is a really nice 1911. It is from you know Nighthawk and everything, but still, it's still a 1911 mechanism. Yeah. Well, get on the U.S. military. I was really surprised at this function as well as it did now. Look at that, yeah, the acro. Well. Yeah, still ready to go, dude. Incredible. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this test very much. I know, I know, we enjoyed it. Did you have fun? Yeah, I had a lot of fun. He had fun. I had a blast. I, I had a great time, guys. As cool as these tests are, you know, don't base your well, actually, base your personality on this. Get in the comments, argue, defend the honor of your gun waifu because uh, we've insulted their honor. Yeah, say disparaging things about others. Yeah, who carry different guns. Yeah, yeah, definitely start start uh, dichotomies and not dichotomies. Start, uh, you know, opposing. A religion. Yeah, I would recommend it. Make fun of people with different guns. Religion, races. Okay, and guys, thank you so much for watching. Get out there, get training, touch grass, do good things. As always, we have nothing else for you. Enjoy your week. Have a good time. We love you. We've got nothing else. <laughs> Such a quick little. <laughs> <clears throat> Final thing for you guys. Charles. Oh, wow. Really put me on the spot. Uh, just get out there with your friends. Have a good time. Train. And really talk shit to them. Because nothing feels better than winning a rifle drill and just really getting to that point where you don't have any friends anymore.